Well, in Pasco, community members gathering for their memorial ceremony, honouring those who didn't get to return home to their loved ones while serving in the armed forces. With nearly 100 people in attendance and a keynote speech from Senator Matt Bunke, this service was complete with a TAPS performance by Vicky Evans, a local VFW member, and the traditional rifle volley paying tribute to those who gave it all. I just say don't forget Memorial Day the way it's supposed to be because a lot of times we get social media and there's so much influx of information that's out there. Do you, we talk about taking the pause to remember people and this is what it's about, why we have cemeteries, why we have uh, traditional ceremonies like today. It's to take that pause out of our crazy lives and just think back why we have so many good things in our world and why we're the greatest country. After the service, many people stayed on to visit their loved ones and to pay respects to those who may be gone, but are certainly not forgotten. Well, at Sunset Gardens in Richland this weekend, a community celebrating honouring the men and women who lost their lives serving the United States. Every year, Sunset Gardens raises over 1,000 flags in recognition of those who served and who are interned at the cemetery. Complete with a skydiver performance, hot dogs, snow cones and even a steel drum band, leaders from Sunset Gardens say while a sombre day, it's also a day of celebration and remembrance. More than 1,100 flags were raised this year. Most of them are flags that were at the uh, veterans service, funeral service. So put, the families donate them back to us and uh, we put their names on them, mount them on a pole and we fly them in our avenue. Guest speaker at the event this year was Scotty Smiley, who was blinded while serving in Iraq. He is the recipient of a Bronze Star, a Purple Heart and many other awards. Well, a study on veterans' mental health from the University of Washington School of Medicine, in collaboration with the staff of Veterans Crisis Line, has found mixed results. Mark Rager, Professor of Psychiatry at the school and Chief of Psychology Services at VA Puget Sound, tells us the study sent caring letters to over 100,000 crisis line callers in the hopes of reducing the number of veteran suicide. While the study showed no association between the letters and reduced suicides, the letter did result in more inpatient and outpatient mental health visits to the VA. It's really important to develop some novel, creative and uh, new suicide prevention approaches that can especially get veterans uh, some help when maybe they're in some gaps uh, between care or in some transition states in their life. In most recent numbers, leaders say more than 6,300 former military members lost their life to suicide in 2021.